English comedian, um, a good comedy producer and an excellent uh, uh, comedy consum uh, consumer because I consume a lot of comedy. Um, you know, a lot of you are expecting that comedy will uh, but this is a TED talk, guys. So, <laughs> I'm going to talk some serious stuff. I'm going to talk about time and the impact of time, what time had an impact on my life. Uh, you know, time is constant, as we all know, that it's a non-reversible process. So once the time is gone, it's gone. Um, so yeah, I was born on 19th of October 1987. Uh, my mother was 40 years old when she gave me birth. The doctor said that, uh, you know, at this age, if you deliver a baby, the baby can be mentally or physically challenged. The doctor was not completely wrong, but <laughs> so I was born, and after that, my mother friends owned my father. Bus a bot ho gaya. This is it. Ye isse kam chala lo. So there was a huge generation gap between me and my parents. My my father was 64 when I was 16. Parents teacher association meeting was kind of awkward. You know, teachers were like, "Dada ji hai." It's like, no, my father. My father uh, got married at the age of 42, and my mother was 37, and this was their first marriage. You know, 40-year-old virgin child, my papa se inspired hua hoga. I'm just, I'm, I think deep down inside, mujhe aisa lagta hai. <laughs> but you know, on, on 17th of January 2005, my uh, father passed away, and it hit me pretty hard. It was a massive heart attack, and all of a sudden, at the age of 17. I didn't have a father because till the age 18, you are like mama's boy. You know, mom supports you, she, she helps you uh, from a strict, strict father and all of that. But when I needed a father, my father was not there. And then there was, you know, I was completely shattered. I had, I had this emotional uh, drama sort of a thing going on. I had suicidal tendencies and all of that. But then one fine day, because, you know, my whole journey has been from a joker to a comedian. In my school days, I used to do a lot of mimicry, sound impersonations. You know, bullies used to call me, like, idara, ye apas karke dikha, ye actor ka karke dikha. So I used to do all of that. And I was like the clown of the class. But then eventually, because of this one fine day, one of my friends, when I was 19, uh, he told me, Mana, there is this FM uh, radio channel coming in our city. I'm from Baroda, Gujarat. So I went uh, for the audition. And I gave the auditions. And, um, you know, it, was, it went well. I didn't contemplate. I took up the opportunity. I was shortlisted. And I was the youngest RJ doing a prime time show on a leading FM channel at the age of 19. And it was a wonderful experience altogether because it was changing my life. You know, when my father passed away, a lot of people came up to me and told me that, Manan, it was not his time. It was not his time, your father left very early, he should have seen your success, blah, blah, blah. Aaj ki tarik mein, a lot of people come up to me and tell me those things, right? But then deep down inside, mujhe pata hai ki whatever I've done in life, it has been at the right time, at the right moment. You know, whenever you take up something, whenever an opportunity comes knocking on the door, we think a lot, we contemplate a lot. And we're like, should we take this up? Should we do this, yes or no? And in that process, the moment is gone, the time is gone. But I always took up the opportunity which came knocking on the door and I didn't contemplate much. If I thought that this is a wrong decision, I would make it a point to make it right. But yes, um, um, you know, life has been uh, great so far and uh, as I said that I was uh, uh, in leading FM channel. There, there is a place where I met my wife. Uh, my wife was also a radio jockey. And uh, I have a successful career of uh, seven years of radio. Clearly, I have a face for the radio. Um, radio, I <laughs> But, you know, my, my wife was also working for the same radio station in a different city. And that's how we met. One thing led to the other. We dated for four years. And we got married at a very early age. I got married at the age of 23. Bali ka wadu season 2 mere pe banne wala hai, hai? But it was good, it was good because, uh, you know, that, again, I got married at the right time with the right girl because it's a gut feeling. You know that this is the right person, so he jail sakta hai, kar lo. You know, this is, this is the most important decision of a person's life, to get married. Kai bar kya hota hai ki, we contemplate a lot because of marriage. 
एंड देन क्लियर एंड सेल में एक दूसरे को चूज करते हैं आफ्टर वन पॉइंट यू नो दिस दिस थिंग एंड ऑफ सीजन सेल आता है आफ्टर द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट हाँ भाई तू ही रही है ठीक है तू ही रहा है ओके चलो डन बट यू नो दैट्स इट्स अ फनी स्टोरी दैट आई 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 यू नो आई आई ग्रेजुएटेड आफ्टर आई गॉट मैरिड so i cleared my kt papers i had that was the state of mind which i had <laughs> i had 11 kt 11 kts and i cleared my graduation after i got married so technically i got my bachelor's degree after i got married which was <laughs> really amazing but um, you know ironically my wife's name is also vidya so <laughs> it's really weird <laughs> but yes i didn't graduate at the right time but as i said i got married at the right time with the right girl and we started doing those couple things you know uh, we started getting this tattoo like this is a couple tattoo which my wife also has on the same hand over here it's it's heart infinity if you can see it it's heart infinity uh, we were inspired from rithik and suzan uh, अभी कोई पूछता है ये क्या मैं बोलता हूँ गणपति है दैट्स द थिंग राइट वी स्टार्टेड डूइंग कपल थिंग्स एंड देन वन फाइन डे वी डिड दिस टू डू लिस्ट सो वी एड ए इंडिविजुअल टू डू लिस्ट सबके कपल के टू डू लिस्ट में वर्ल्ड टूर होता है यू नो गोइंग टू दिस कंट्री होता है हैविंग बेबीज ये सब होता है सो आई इन माई इंडिविजुअल लिस्ट आई हैड स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी समवेयर एंड माई रेडियो करियर वॉज गोइंग ऑन प्रिटी फाइन इट वॉज गोइंग प्रिटी नाइस Vidya's career was also going very nice, so I had stand-up comedy at the bottom of the list. Now, one of the reasons why Vidya likes me is, is what she tells me is because I have a sense of humor. So she pushed me to do stand-up comedy in 2011 in Gujarat, where there was no market, there was no space for stand-up comedy whatsoever. Back in 2011, तब तो इंडिया में भी उतना नाम नहीं होता stand-up comedy का जो आज की तारीख में you know slowly and gradually stand up comedy scene started increasing and we started following stand up comedy a lot in india since past 2 years so when uh, this thing happened vidya told me ke man you should do this so i approached my friend who owns a sports lounge in uh, baroda and 26th august 2011 was the first time i went on stage as a stand up comedian doing a multilingual show for the first time it was happening in gujarat 60 people turned up it was jam packed room it was a small sports lounge and i did stand up comedy for the first time for 80 minutes and out of that 60 minutes i tanked miserably nobody was laughing khali 8 10 minute log hase honge that's it i cried like a baby i went back home my wife was trying to pacify me back of the mind she was like isse maine shaadi ki hai you know that kind of thing but eventually i came about because those 8 to 10 minutes i thought ke ye 8 10 minute jisme log hase i want to do that again what was i thinking by going on stage and saying things like insaniyat ko bread pe laga ke kha jao kyunki insaniyat naam ki bhi cheez hai what was i thinking while saying these kind of jokes these were the jokes i cracked for the first time i was on stage as a stand up comedian look at the jokes today how they have evolved this is the worst pg of my life then i realized ke okay this is the kind of stand up comedy which i have to do i i don't have to do actually and then i did a lot of research i i i consumed a lot of comedy i called my friends and and i gathered a lot of my colleagues who were funny just like me like minded people like me and i'm like hey guys i want to do this thing called the comedy factory would you like to join so they were also doing radios one of them was doing music so all of them you know we got together and now we are a team of nine people uh, who are comedians and doing a lot in our team the comedy factory and it, it's a great process over a period of time uh, we did a lot of stuff together um, so yeah i did comedy at the right time in the right place because ye timing people were thinking that manan they were laughing at me manan in gujarat which is already a dry state and live entertainment mein to kuch zyada hi dry hai you want to do comedy there is no market for it i was like that's the best thing jahan pe market nahi hota wahan pe sabse zyada scope hota hai and that's what struck me i was like i knew that comedy is going to blow up eventually 
and I started at the right time. I started calling people, the, uh, comedians from Mumbai, comedians from Delhi, like Vipul Goyal and like uh, Nitin Gupta, who were comedians back then and who, who are still comedians, but they started off back then and they were doing amazing at that point of time. So that's the, uh, that's the nice community little thing that we have in stand-up comedians. That within the stand-up comedians, we always make it a point that if there is a new market, we want to push it and increase the scene in that particular market as much as possible. So yeah, um, you know, I decided that when I get money from stand-up comedy as much as I'm getting from radio, I will quit radio. And that's what happened one fine day. I got money without less, without that much efforts. Uh, I got as much money as I was getting from uh, radio. And then I decided, ki, okay, ab bas baut ho gaya. I want to go full-time comedian. Tabhi log has rete de, they're like, how can you quit a sustainable job? Which is so commercial, so nice. Everybody knows who you are on the radio and all of that. But I was like, no, this is where my heart lies and I want to do stand-up comedy because in a radio atmosphere, you're just in front of the mic, right? And you are in your studio, in your comfort zone. When you're speaking, when you're saying things, you don't know whether the person is laughing or interested in what you're saying. You're just saying things. Aapke dimaag mein funny ho, but mujhe baad mein pata chala, jab maine live stand-up comedy kiya, ke nahi, mein funny nahi ho. I'm not that funny. So live stand-up comedy, the best thing about stand-up comedy is that you get instant gratification. Right now it's nerve-wracking. I know that I need to get laughs right now from you. Because usually when I'm on stage, I have to crack jokes and I need to listen to those laughs. But this is not a comedy show, guys. <laughs> but yes, uh, I left the radio at the right time and started comedy at the right time. And, uh, you know, today the Comedy Factory is the biggest uh, comedy producer. Uh, we have the most popular YouTube regional Gujarati channel which creates original content. We have the Gujarat Comedy Festival as well. We perform at all sorts of social functions like, uh, you know, bachelor parties or sangeets, corporates, birthday parties. Funeral ke lava sab kuch kar liya hai. And we are really looking forward to a funeral as well because that needs to happen someday ke funeral ke din pe there is a stand-up comedy show. We have, internally as comedians, we have decided ke jo marega na sabse pehle, uske funeral mein hum stand-up comedy show rakhege. But you know, uh, then as a comedy producer also, I started doing stuff at the right time. Once a month, we started calling uh, comedians like Vipul Goyal and uh, uh, Nitin Gupta. And then eventually, uh, next month, we are doing shows with Zakir Khan and Amit Tandon. And there is a huge splurge of comedians in uh, Gujarat at the moment. And uh, we have become synonymous to comedy in Gujarat. So that's the kind of name the Comedy Factory has owned over a period of time. And we are that much successful as a producer. So obviously, you know, production, we started at the right time, at the right place. And then I realized that I need to again explore. Now as a producer, mujhe jo karna tha, kar diya. I need to explore again, um, you know, my comedian side. So I hosted something called the Ghanta Awards, uh, which is roasting of Bollywood. And uh, there uh, in the audience was sitting one of the uh, directors of a leading comedy show on television. So the next day I got a call, I got an offer from Comedy Nights Bachao Season 2 and I worked in Season 2 with uh, comedians like Krishna, Sudesh, Bharti and it was a great experience. You know people say Ki, this television humor is so redundant, so monotonous. Let's accept the fact that both styles of humor, both, both genres of humor have their own audience. Okay? You consume internet comedy, there are consumers for that kind of comedy as well. And it was such a fun experience. It was an amazing experience for me. A lot of people got offended on that show. You know about it, right? A lot of celebrities were walking off because they got offended. They were on a roast. What did they expect? Obviously. And that, that, that's the side effect of our business. You know, before I uh, speak about, uh, you know, how my mom was so proud of me when she saw me on national television. Because back in 2005, because of our personal loss, we used to watch something called the Great Indian Laughter Challenge. And we used to feel a little happy during those miserable times. And when my mother saw me doing comedy along with those comedians who we watched back in 2005, the first time she saw me on television, she made a call to me and she's like, today, you know, 
tara papa khush hashe that is my father must be happy right now and laughing at these jokes so thank you for that one clap but yes <laughs> But you know that that that's what I felt. That's the kind of achievement I had. I grabbed the opportunities at the right time, and that's the uh, impact time had on my life, on my career overall. But you know, about talking about comedians, I was uh, saying that comedians' ki life mein do cheese hoti hai. One which I am facing right now, which is the second point. But the first point is that people get offended a lot these days. That's the general pastime for citizens these days. We are getting offended over and over again, which is I don't understand why. Because see, for us, if I crack a joke and if the audience doesn't laugh, that is a punishment in itself for my profession. If I make a movie and it flops, it is a punishment for me. You cannot say that you are a culprit. How can you say this? How can you say that? Every style of humor, every joke has an audience. A death joke, a dark joke. A, a funny slapstick joke. Every joke has an audience. If you don't like that joke, you are not the audience for that particular joke. It is as simple as that. And the second point is the comedians face all the time is that hey, you comedian, hai na? Joke suna. Joke suna na. I was like, if I meet a lawyer, I won't say, hey, chal, argument suna. <laughs> argument suna na. I, I will become the judge. So this one friend of mine comes up to me and tells me, Ke, hey, manan. Uh, तू कॉमेडियन है ना चल जोक सुना ना मैंने बोला सौ रुपए लगेंगे एक जोक के तो ही स्टार्टेड लाफिंग सौ रुपए दे बट यू नो इट्स इट्स इट इज रियली ग्रेट जर्नी सो फार आई आई एम नाउ अ वेरी स्मॉल नाइस फैमिली आई एव अ मदर शी इज शी इज ग्रेट शी इज पार्शली ब्लाइंड शी कैन नॉट सी मी हैप्पी um <laughs> every joke has an audience okay <laughs> every joke has an audience and i i i have a pet dog at home uh, my wife has two pet dogs um uh, one is faithful the other is trying to be faithful and i also have become a father now i i am a father to a one year old baby girl and i'm i'm so glad this is a great change i became a father at the right time guys <laughs> that that's also the the kind of impact that it has on my life you know strangers come up to me when i am having a good time with my little girl i'm playing with her with her toys and all of that and strangers come barging into my house and they're like hey it's such a cute baby what's your name what's your name kya hai naam tera beta clearly she cannot communicate still hey what's your name baby what's your name do you expect the baby to go john cena like all <laughs> But yes, guys, I chose to be an RJ at the right time. I chose to get married at the right time with the right girl. I chose to start uh, comedy at the right time. Uh, comedy further enhanced my sense of timing. Um, you know, I chose to uh, produce comedy at the right time. And as I said, when my father passed away, uh, they said that it was not his time. Well, if you think the time is not right, then you can make it right. Embrace time, make most of it. Thank you so very much.